Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this quick video, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite new features in Adobe Connect 9.1, and that's MP4 recordings. I've navigated over to my Meetings tab, and in my Meetings tab, I've got a couple of meetings in which I've made some recordings. I'm going to click on the first one here, and then navigate over to the Recordings section. You'll notice I've got a few different recordings here. This screen looks pretty similar to Adobe Connect 9, but there is a new drop-down list box beside each of my recordings, and I can use that drop-down list box to do a number of different actions. If I click on that list box, you can see that I can edit the recording. This will open up the recording in the standard edit mode that hasn't changed between Adobe Connect 9 and 9.1. I can create an offline version of this recording as a flash video. This is the standard way we've created offline versions. There's a new option here, though, to create an MP4 version. You can see I've just submitted this one uh, for conversion to an MP4 file. So I'll select a different recording here and create MP4. And you'll see that it has now been submitted. It's queued up along with all of the other different uh, recordings that have been submitted for conversion to MP4. So this is all server-side conversion. There's nothing I need to do on my desktop. I simply come back after a few minutes or a few hours, depending on how many recordings are scheduled for a conversion, and the MP4 file will be waiting for me. And here's an example right here. This is a recording that I've already converted to MP4. I can click on that, and just like any other content on an Adobe Connect server, I've got a URL for viewing. I've got actually a link to the original recording if I want to view that, and I've got an actions drop-down list box. I can edit this information, and I can also download this file. So if I want to download the MP4 to my desktop, I can do that very easily. The great thing here is, though, I've got a URL for viewing. So I don't have to download this to distribute it. I can simply distribute that URL. Because it's an MP4 file, somebody can view that URL using a standard web browser, but they can also view it using virtually any mobile device. It's MP4, so it's supported on Android, on iOS, on virtually every mobile device on the market. So that's a very quick look at one of my favorite new features of Adobe Kick 9.1, MP4 conversion. Thanks for your time.